Why does my home network work with only one computer at a time? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. If you're not signed up for my weekly newsletter, Confident Computing, head out to AskLeo.com slash newsletter. Tips, tricks, advice, commentary every week in your inbox to help you use your technology with greater confidence and ease. So this is an interesting scenario. Here's the question that I got actually a long time ago. Question, the network consists of a cable modem, a hub slash router, a cat5 cable in the walls and two computers. If I disconnect one computer at the hub, the other one works. If I disconnect that one and connect only the other computer, it works. But when I connect both, neither works. I suspect a problem with the two computers getting the same address. Is this likely? How do I troubleshoot this kind of problem? I have a very strong suspicion about exactly what's going on. I want you to take a look at the device you have connected to your internet into which your two computers are plugged in. That device, typically referred to as a router, for reasons I'll talk about in a moment, is the device that's responsible for sharing your one internet connection with two or more machines. What I suspect is that you don't have a router. What I suspect is that in fact you have a hub or maybe a switch. The point being though, that hubs and switches are not intelligent enough to actually share a single internet connection. What do I mean by sharing that connection? When you get an internet connection from your ISP, you get one and only one IP address. And yet you've got two or more machines that you want to be able to communicate on the internet. A router is the device that actually is assigned that one IP address. It then manages assigning local IP addresses to all of the machines that are connected to it. If instead you have a hub, then basically the first machine to ask for an IP address will get one. The second one won't. It won't be able to communicate on the internet because there was no middleman to assign a local IP address and your ISP was only going to hand out one. So the solution in a case like that, yeah, get a router, get an actual router. That then should allow you to connect multiple machines and have them be used all at the same time. Now, some diagnostic information that may be helpful. In command prompt, run the command ipconfig slash all, ipconfig space slash all. Take a look at the IP address, the IPv4 address that is assigned to that computer. If it starts with a number like 10.0 or 172.16 or 192.168, then A, you've probably got a router because those are IP addresses that have been set aside specifically for local area networks to use. Those are IP addresses that will not appear on the quote unquote real internet. If you've got an IP address that begins with 169, then your machine was unable to get an IP address at all. That's typically the result of that second machine asking for an IP address and getting no response. If you've got an IP address that is 0.0.0.0 or 127.0.0.1, those are, well, the latter one is your local address. It's basically the, uh, an address that each machine can use to refer to itself and only itself without actually going onto the network and four zeros is actually invalid. But the point here is that if you're seeing those, then again, something else is indeed wrong. That's not correct configuration. And finally, if you're seeing almost anything else, a quote unquote normal IP address, which is basically everything other than what I've listed so far, then you're looking at the machine that was successfully able to get a real IP address from your ISP. But it's probably from your ISP, not from the box to which the machine is connected. So the bottom line is the same. In either case, make sure you have your router in place, that you're using a router and not a switch or a hub. And that, of course, the router itself is configured to properly route, to actually act as a router. It's the default configuration, 
But once again, if you've been playing with router configurations, it is possible to put routers in what are called pass-through modes, which would make them behave as if they are not there, as if there was no routing necessary. Hopefully that helps you get a little further and helps you diagnose exactly what's going on with your system. For updates, for comments, for related links and more, visit askleo.com slash 2120. I'm Leo Notenboom and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.